Now, my next guests are one of Ireland's biggest bands with a huge celebrity following. Codaline burst onto the music scene back in 2013 with hit single High Hopes. All I want and since then have sold over a million records worldwide. Their celebrity fans include Harry Styles, Bono and Ed Sheeran, who even helped bassist Jason propose to his girlfriend live on stage. And now they're back and preparing to go on tour. And Steve, Jason, Vinny and Mark are with me. It's very cosy on that sofa yes, for the four is, of you. Yeah. <laughs> we really should have brought speed. another chair in. Apologies. Are you OK? Yeah, I know we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Just thought, as long as you're comfortable. Um, now, i got to say, before I talk about music, tours, albums or anything else, I'm feeling a lot of love in this band. Because firstly, 22nd of July, you got married, of course. I did indeed, very, yeah. It all went well, clearly. It did, yeah, thank God, yeah. It yes. Nice weather and everything, so, yeah. It was all beautiful. Yeah. And then, of course, there you are. Oh, look at your beautiful wife. What a gorgeous oh, picture. Look, and then, Jason, we saw the uh, the big proposal there. Yeah, Ed Sheeran. How many people? Yes, of course, exactly. <laughs> Ed Sheeran did have a help in hand, of course. That is one way to propose to a woman. Yeah, <laughs> probably the most terrifying thing I've ever done. Like, the gigs are easy. That was that was hard. Really? <laughs> and, and Ed, obviously, was very willing to do whatever it took it, then to make it happen. It was all last minute and just text him that morning. And I think he told the rest of the lads. I didn't even tell them. You know, it was, it was all one of those. We were we were standing backstage, and that show, like we were doing a song, and we were kind of guesting with Ed Sheeran, and uh, we were running through it before. And he goes, "Okay, so we'll do this song, and then we'll do another song, and then we do the proposal, <laughs> and then we go into the other song." And Jay had never told any of us because just in case we let it slip, <laughs> so uh, we were all like, "Wait, hold on, hold on, backtrack, backtrack. There's there's a what happening, and who is it, Jay?" Oh. <laughs> But uh, it was magic. It was amazing. What yeah. a fantastic memory that's going to be. And that's September then, the big day? Yeah, it's yeah. creeping up now. It is creeping <laughs> up, yes, exactly. Mm. So we're talking about your celebrity following there, Ed Sheeran obviously being one. Bono, you're good pals with, hanging out with him in L.A., bit of advice from a fellow Irish uh, musician, <laughs> of course. And and this really interested me, though, about the whole Courtney Cox um, relationship, because she well, she directed your the video to your single, of course. Yeah. I mean, how did that all come around then? Um, we were kind of pals with Johnny McDade, who's in a relationship with Courtney. Mm -hmm. and, Snow uh, Patrol, obviously. Yeah, Snow yeah. Patrol, yeah. <coughs> but, um, yeah, we ended up just in Courtney's house and we wrote a song and she loved it and she was listening to the song and then she just kind of turned around and said, I have to do a video for this. And we kind of, like, were like, oh, well, you know, felt yeah. Like, it felt like a joke at the time. Yeah, it was like, we were kind of like, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah, if you, yeah, do the video or whatever. But then she actually followed through and a few months later she was like, right, I have this great idea. So um, we all flew over to her house and we brought our friends over as well. Like some of them Probably. had never been to L.A. So they were like arriving in L.A. in Courtney Cox's house just going... OK, uh, this is a bit strange, but, you know, she's she's lovely and the video was great and it was great fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's been a crazy kind of few years, I guess, for all of you. But you have always spoken about being a live band and that's kind of your, your bread and butter. I remember yeah. reading yeah, a yeah. quote somewhere with one of you saying that. And so when you look at things like Glastonbury, you've, it's three times now, isn't it, you've been yeah, at Glastonbury? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that must... That must feel like it's real then. This is what you're doing, what you want to do. You know, every, every time we've gone back to Glastonbury, the, the crowd has just been the most incre incredible thing, you know. And this year, we haven't really done anything in a while, and we came back and we still had this huge crowd. So it's really, you know, it's a lovely feeling to, to know that people still care for you. Yeah. Yeah, we, can't, we spend most of our time touring on the road. Like, we're going to... Indonesia next week. That's next week, yes. Yeah. yes. And then we have like a big European tour and a UK tour. And then there's plans to go everywhere mm -hmm. and anywhere, Brazil, America again, you know, but we've kind of just been all over the world constantly. And you're still loving that aspect of it because a lot yeah. of bands do get to a point where it's like, oh, I don't want to have to stay in a hotel again, but you are still <laughs> kind of on this crest of the wave, aren't well, you? Well, we kind of started out like playing in pubs and bars and busking on the streets. So like any excuse to play live and that's what we love doing, you know, yeah. so 
yeah, keeps us going. Just like being <laughs> on the page, we're pretty used to being in a tour bus. Yeah. 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 Squished together like this, yeah, yeah. This, this is, is actually quite spacious <laughs> in comparison to a tour bus. Thank you for making us feel better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. But you, t there's been, you, you have said that there may be a few more singles before the album completely hits. Yeah. Like, what are the plans? Could it be later this year, potentially? Yeah, it's kind of, we're, it's still up for debate, you know, so there will definitely be another, at least one or two singles out before the album. So, uh, yeah, we're just kind of, we're having fun making the album, like, you know, and, and kind of giving fans little teases of new music and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. For the first time ever, we're actually planning an album around two weddings, which is bizarre. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, that means um, you're growing up, boys. Uh, you know, <laughs> responsibilities and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, but, um, exactly. Yeah, no, it's exciting. It's and exciting do you get back to Ireland a lot, then? Yeah, no, we've we... had a lot of time this year, because with the weddings, me and Steve just kind of have time to chill and write, so... It's actually been like probably the quietest year for the band, but the biggest year for these lads and stuff. So, yeah. but it's nice. We're ready to go again. So I say once it hits kind of October, we'll be yeah, gone. yeah. Because as I say, you are you're going to be it's touring in December, Manchester, Glasgow, Birmingham, London, but as you say, Europe first. Yeah. yeah. And Indonesia next week, and you'll be making one of your crazy videos, I'm guessing, next week, will you? Um, Hopefully. always. <laughs> yeah, always. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. We've got a couple of mad ideas. There's like yeah, we're trying to get all the fans involved in the next one, so we'll see, see okay. what happens. Yeah. Fantastic. It's yeah. so lovely to meet you all. Honestly, <laughs> it's great so to have you in today. Thank you oh, so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you so Cheers. much, Codeline. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Um, coming up.